A very good morning from Manchester Airport, where you're watching Theme Park Worldwide. And we're about to take you all on our next adventure. We're going to be flying out from Manchester to Geneva in Switzerland. And yeah, this will be our first time flying into Geneva. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our vlog from Emerald Park in Ireland. We've been very efficient because uh, we parked up yesterday morning very early here at Manchester Airport. And then we flew back last night. We did a day trip, didn't we? We did. And it was so quick getting back. So from landing, getting off the plane to the airport hotel was like 15 minutes. Yeah. I was in bed within 15 minutes. It was brilliant. Yeah, being on the plane, like that was fantastic, wasn't it? It was just off so quick. It just went, flew so well. So we were so pleased. Yeah, so we thought we'd book a hotel here at Manchester Airport tonight because obviously we're flying straight out to Switzerland. So yeah, really efficient for us because we literally parked up, um, did that yesterday, stayed here last night, and then we're off again um, this morning out to Geneva. I'll be able to start to quickly show you the Clayton Hotel here at Manchester Airport. It was £80 for the night, which considering it's right at the airport, I don't think that's too bad. We could literally walk here from the airport. You haven't got to get a bus, but they do offer a complimentary bus if you did want to come down if you've got loads of luggage as well. Yeah, I mean, we've only got uh, backpacks got bags. each just here and obviously the airport literally that's the terminal um just over there so yeah nice and easy we have a nice big desk area wi-fi has been very fast in here too uh for that uh, good old upload speed you know me uh, always getting the videos on for you all but uh yeah uh overall we had a good night's stay here at the clayton hotel yeah you got the bathroom just in there it has got a bath and the toilet you might think where is it it's just hidden behind the uh down the door over there. Well, yeah, it's been nice just for the night. And obviously it's been really ideal for us this because uh, we booked the trip to Emerald Park first and originally it was just going to be the day trip. Then Intermin invited us out to this event that we're going to. Then I added more parks on. It's turned into like a week trip now. So. Just left the car parked up at Jet Park. So we thought we'll just bring all our bags with us because the original plan we was going to go back to the car, leave the stuff in there and not take them to Ireland. And we was like, well... What's the point in going back to the car? So we brought all the bags with us so we can just go straight to the airport now. Yeah, and it saved quite a bit of time. Perfect. And we did mention all of this in our video the other day, talking about our autumn trip plans. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already seen it, because we've got an awesome trip to California coming up after this. Um, but yeah, over the next few days, we're going to be visiting three theme parks in France that we've never been to before. We're going to be starting off at Parc Spirou. So we're going there tomorrow. Uh, this place looks really interesting, like based on like comic characters, that sort of thing. I haven't looked much into the park, but I always love going to parks for the new time because you don't know what you're going to expect. Then we've got the next part that we're doing, which is Wallaby Road. Alp, and that's the event from Intamin. We've got a behind the scenes tour of their new roller coaster. It's an Intamin single rail. This looks amazing, doesn't it? This part looks awesome. It looks like it's got some really good rides. I'm really looking forward to going and ticking another Wallaby Park off. Yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, and then we're going to be ending with a visit to Le Pal, uh, which is another park in France that I've wanted to do for quite some time. They've got one of the Intamin family launch coasters, the quad bike coasters there. Uh, so we'll get on that and uh, just take it in. Then over on our second channel, the Sandbrook Adventures, uh, we're going to be uh, doing a bit of exploring we're going to go and see the Matterhorn um, in Switzerland have a full kind of sightseeing day around there I've always wanted to see it big bucket list and I think you're looking forward to it as well yeah it's something that I've never thought I'd see before so I'm really looking forward to that I'm sure it's going to be quite cold so I'm going to jump <laughs> basically all the destinations that you see in Soaring at Disney <laughs> like when you're flying over we're gradually getting there we did uh, the castle last year that I've always wanted to do um, in Germany and uh, yeah now we're off to see the Matterhorn so why not but uh, come and join us we're going to leave the hotel now and make our way over to the airport I think we'll probably just walk over and there's a look at the outside of the Clayton Hotel oh there's someone on the roof over there looks like they're doing some work <laughs> see them and we just walk over to the left hand side here and that's the terminal right there so yeah it's ideal the bus was there actually but we thought by the time we have to going on the bus then they might drop off at the other terminals first we may as well just walk it still hasn't even left no it still hasn't left yeah and the sun's shining so it's ideal yeah you just follow these little blue signs and we're going to be flying on EasyJet to Geneva. So yeah, excited for uh, seeing a new airport. You know me, travel is part of the adventure too. Like, it's not just the destination, traveling is all part of the fun. That was nice and easy. It literally took five minutes. It's all proper crossings as well, going over the rows. And then we've arrived here at Terminal 1. Ideal. And you know what we're going to have for lunch? Our flight's at like 20 past one. It's nearly 11 o'clock now. So we've allowed time to come and get a good old Greg's before we go on the flight, fantastic. Love a good Greg's to start the trip. Oh yes, what a way to start our next adventure. Two Greg's sausage rolls and I've gone for a triple chocolate muffin as well. What's your go to at Greg's? I'd love to know. 
obviously we got married not too long ago and quite a lot of people got us wedding gifts which were Grace gift it cards. It was brilliant. Well. Fantastic. So one of our friends got us a high roller gift card which is like got a £50 Greg's voucher on. Let's get a and it's like a too. giant sausage roll when you open it. It's mm. brilliant. I'm going to enjoy this and then we'll go and uh, yeah, make our way through to the flight. Oh, that was nice and easy, getting through security here at Manchester Terminal 1. Yeah, we only waited about five minutes, didn't we, there? Not too bad at all. I've just had a lovely chicken and stuff and sandwich. It was beautiful. Yeah, a meal deal from W8 Smith, pretty good. Yeah, 4 dollars it's not too bad at all. Yeah, it's all right. And yeah, you got uh, quite a few shops and restaurants in there. Boots, W8 Smith's down there. Got some right tunes coming from uh, In Motion just over there. What a classic. Push the button. And uh, here we go. I've got our backpacks just here. Uh, Charlotte's near as mine. How are you getting on with uh, just taking backpacks on trips? What I do with backpacks on trip, I literally just pack what I need. I pack the right amount of t-shirts, right amount of leggings. I don't bring my hair dryer, don't bring my straighteners. I don't need to straighten my hair, I just put it up or it'll just be naturally straight. And I can use a hair dryer when I'm there. Yeah, there you go. I can pack easily with a backpack. I just pack what I need and don't bring anything unnecessary. I think that's the thing. When we did the backpacking trip across Asia earlier in the year. I can pack very yeah, well. Yeah, like a little Europe trip seems really that's easy. Fine. Yeah, it's actually a lot easier actually. They just uh, taking a backpack I find. So the flight's going to be a couple of hours, easy jet through to Geneva and when we get there we're then going to be picking up a hire car. Now you can either exit on the French side or the Swiss side. I've hired the car from the Swiss side because believe it or not that worked out the cheapest option um, when I looked online. I'm quite surprised because Switzerland is known to be very expensive. In fact it's one of the most expensive countries in the world. Not really seen much of Switzerland um, but obviously we're going to be having a full sightseeing day um, which is going to be coming up on our other channel which we're really looking forward to. Going to be an expensive day that one. I had some friends that went to uh, a McDonald's in Switzerland not too long ago and it was like uh, £40 for two meals or something where they went. So it's going to be an expensive day uh, but obviously all our accommodation and everything is in France and the three parks that we're doing are in France too. Uh, we are picking up the hire car and then we're going to drive down to our accommodation tonight and then we'll uh, talk about the distances um, from that hotel to the different parks. Just got one more money saving tip for you all. Obviously if you're coming to airports um, you can't bring like water and stuff like that in or at least not at the moment anyway they are looking at changing the liquids rule um, but yeah you can just bring a water bottle an empty one and then fill it up because a lot of airports now here in the UK have got like water refill stations like a bottle of water in like smiths and stuff can be like three quid um so literally just bring an empty bottle and then you can just top it up when you get through security um, we're going to make our way down towards the gate now and we'll be boarding our easyjet flight there we go point proven over here at wh smith 2.99 for one bottle of water so yeah bring your uh, empty water bottle fill it up for free Had a little bit of a chill out there in the airport and here we go time to board our flight looks like we're going to be on time as well through to geneva so yeah we will see you when we get to switzerland Enjoyed the flight so far. Hello, what a shot. Let's go over here. Some micro chips just there. Oh my god, lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah, what are they? €3.50. That's alright. €3.50 for some micro chips. Fantastic. Better than the normal plain food, anyway. And just over here, having a read through the magazine. Always I could through the magazine, but we were quite surprised when we saw these two pages. Hey, ride on time. And this is all about some of the best theme parks and roller coasters in Europe like this has definitely been wrote by an enthusiast you got Voltron just up there it even talks about the manufacturers Macrise you got Zadra over there at Energy Landia fantastic yeah I love how it gives you all the information it tells you about where the uh, manufacturers are from as well and that's fantastic Germany's Macrise Liechtenstein's Intamin and Switzerland's Bolliger and Mabillard really cool nice picture of Abyssus I like how it goes through the D and on the other side Got Tutatis at Park Asterix just there. 
Baron 1898 or 8 and 8 and up there at FW had to get that one in <laughs> and then also you got Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen just down there too and yeah lots of information fantastic really good yeah right in the middle of the book like summer theme park visits fantastic how are they Charlotte they're good Fantastic. Right, we'll see you when we land. And a very good afternoon from Geneva in Switzerland where we're just leaving the airport on the shuttle bus down to pick up our rental car. But yeah, how was your flight Charlotte? It was really good. I've got chocolate all down my top. Oh, Look at how this. Is that? I'm in a right mess, I am. <laughs> have you managed to get chocolate all down? I have no idea. I did have an aero before the flight and I must have dropped down and I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Oh, the flight was good though. Yeah, the flight was good. It went quite quick actually, so it was very good. We had a great pilot because he was giving us like loads of information about where we were flying over. Which was really good, he was like, if you can look out the window you can see this, which I think is really nice sometimes because people like the reassurance of knowing where they are. Yeah, it's good, I yeah, enjoyed it. Got some nice clear views out of the window as well. I'll tell you what, it's roasting, it's actually 29 degrees Celsius. You don't associate Switzerland with it being really warm, do you? But uh, no, 29 degrees luckily, packed quite a few uh, shorts in the bag. So we've actually just been to the desk which is located in the airport uh, before we got on this bus where we've just done all the pre-registration for the hire car, hired it with Thrifty. It was a deal that we did through EasyJet as well, so booked the flight and also the car hire. A lot of the time you can save money actually if you do it as a package deal and also if you're adding on hotels, depending on where you're going to. If we were just staying in Geneva, like you could have done like an EasyJet holiday and added on um, the hotel too. But obviously with us traveling to a few destinations, uh, we wanted to make sure that we uh, booked our own accommodation that works good for us with the parks that we're doing. Um, yeah, I got the uh, keys just here. We're driving a Peugeot 208 automatic. Love an automatic car. Uh, just a bit easier, isn't it? Because we are actually going to be doing quite a bit of driving over the next few days. We'll get some airtime here on the bus. Um, yeah, so we, you know, I'm glad we've got an automatic. We're going to be doing a lot of driving actually because these three parks we're doing aren't necessarily all close to each other. And we're going to be covering quite a few miles over the next few days. That was a much shorter bus ride than I was expecting, only about two minutes and we're here. So yeah, we're just looking for spot number 306. Oh, we're in the blue number. Oh, that's easy to spot on a theme park car park, isn't it? There we go, Peugeot 28. So yeah, we picked this up on the Swiss side. Obviously, we're going to be driving into France. You do have to pay a fee when you're crossing a border as well, because obviously Switzerland isn't in the EU, um, but France is. But yeah, you've got to pay that, but I knew that already before. If we weren't uh, going to go and do the Matterhorn and do some sightseeing in Switzerland, we would have picked up the car on the French side, then I wouldn't have had to pay the fee. But obviously, if I was coming to this area, I wanted to go and tick off a bucket list, you know. The so. fee was only £44, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's all right, that is. There we go. Don't you just love... A good Switzerland number plate, fantastic. But yeah, we'll just chat the car over. If you're hiring a car, always give it a once over. I mean, they send you an email um, and give you all the details of any scratches or anything. Double check, take a few photos yourself. And then of course you've got plenty of evidence. And then we're gonna uh, get on the road. It's gonna be about a one hour 50 drive down to our hotel where we're staying for four nights. Okay then, so we are on the road. Yeah, nice and easy picking up the hire car though there. Didn't take too long. And we've got some really nice scenery. So we've just crossed over the border from Switzerland into France. That was only about 10 minutes into the journey. Open border, no passport checks or anything like that. But of course, we've got it all on us just in case we did need it. Um, but yeah, we were straight through. So yeah, we're on our drive now, um, which is going to be taking us about 90 minutes. Um, and yeah, we're going to see some nice scenery by the looks of it along the way. You've got all the mountains around. And yeah, it's quite pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. All the mountains around, yeah, it's really nice. Tell you what, it's hot, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, it's boiling. I'm glad we got the blowers on in the car. It's so warm. Yeah, look at this out the uh, out the front just there. Wow. 
We're going to get to see some nice scenery though this trip, especially when we go back into Switzerland in a few days and have that full sightseeing day. I've never been to Geneva, it looks quite nice actually in uh, Geneva itself, so we'll definitely see a bit of that. And we've got a full day, we're going to be driving down to the Matterhorn and we'll be covering all that over on the Sandbrook Adventures. We've filmed a lot of content this summer on our second channel, so we'd love to see you all over there. In terms of the car though, fantastic isn't it? It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's really nice, nice and comfortable which is good. I like how it's got uh, CarPlay uh, too. Always handy having CarPlay. Screen's in a really good location actually as well because it's just off to the right of the steering wheel uh, which is quite nice actually because obviously a lot of the time the screens are lower down aren't they? But uh, yeah, some nice scenery. So, yeah, we had normal like driving in Europe rules apply really. I mean I've done a lot of driving abroad now, uh, driven a lot of countries out there uh, but obviously never in this part of uh, France and Switzerland before. So yeah, we've got about a 90 minute drive. If there's any more nice scenery along the way, Charlotte will uh, get some footage. We'll probably make a stop at a supermarket along the way. If we can find one, get some waters and let's get a few supplies. Uh, and then we should be down at the hotel for about 7.30 tonight, which is ideal. Oh, there we go. It's only a couple of minutes after and look at some of this scenery already. That's massive, isn't it? It's huge. You can't get the full scale of it. Yeah, all the trees on there. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be heading partially like round the side of it. So we decided to come the no tolls route. Obviously, there's a lot of toll roads in France uh, and in Switzerland too, I believe. Even though not like done with driving around, like, no driving around Switzerland. I know there's quite a bit um, of tolls around there too. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you the no tolls route tonight. It was like saving 15 minutes during the tolls. And normally you get some good scenery, don't you, actually, if you were... Uh, yeah, you do, instead of going on yeah. just motorways all the time. Yeah, I quite like this, coming like some down some smaller roads, like, look at this. I thought we are going into Jurassic World or something, over to the island. <laughs> I've been enjoying some really nice scenery along the way and we managed to stop off at a car for which is a supermarket just here just to get a few supplies here's a little look at the vehicle charlotte's been getting some good footage of the scenery yeah out the window <laughs> <laughs> there we go see the steering wheel it's not like a full circle it's got like the straight sections just on there yeah i do like driving an automatic it's quite a nice vehicle got quite a bit of space in the boot as well yeah it's nice oh there we go okay. there's it <laughs> come find the handle there there it is Fantastic. Yeah, it's ideal, isn't it, really? Just pretty good for us. Yeah, we're just going to go and uh, get a few supplies, aren't oh, we now? I love it, innit? What a great shop. Car oh, four. Brilliant. Fantastic. Can't go wrong with a good French supermarket. Yeah, we've just got some bottles of water and stuff for the parks. Got some bananas to have in the morning and a few other bits too. I also got these. I have never seen these before. We actually saw these in the airport and they was really expensive. There you go. These are Kinder Rini's. These were only three euros 39. I've never had these before, so we're gonna see what they're like. We're gonna try them now. Anything Kinder, I'm there for. You love oh. it, don't you? Look at these. I was expecting them to be like individually wrapped as well. I was expecting them to have faces like the actual thing. There you go. There this is. is what they look like. There you go, there you go. Mm. What's it like? Very nice. Like a, bis like a, a biscuit. biscuit. That's uh, let's give one of these a go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we've got about 40 minutes drive left, not too bad. Oh. Mm. A little bit dry. It tastes a bit like a dog biscuit. <laughs> Not like I've ever tasted a dog biscuit, but what I imagine a dog biscuit tastes like. I'm not expecting. You can taste the kinder in them, but I was expecting mm. something in the middle of them. Yeah, they're a bit a bit dry in the middle. I know I normally like dry things, but that's normally hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought they were going to be like, you know, milk chocolate in the go. middle coming this out. This one's got a face. It's all right, though. Mm. It's got a face. Mm. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll carry on with the drive and yeah we'll uh, get checked into our hotel we're staying in, like a local hotel tonight we're not like in a holiday inn or something like that we're literally like a locals hotel like a b&b and we're here for four nights so we're going to see what this is like mm. I'm choking on this <laughs> one of kinder's worst products not a fan <laughs> they're okay but compared to other kinder products like a kinder bueno you can't beat one of them lovely let's get back on the road Oh, 
Oh, I've been enjoying some more lovely scenery along the way. That's why I just show you this view here. Yeah, just parts over at the side of the road. Beautiful, sun's going down. Nice motor home there. Yeah, look at this, beautiful with the water. And oh, there's the ducks having a bit of a swim. Really nice, just looking out at all the mountains over there in the distance as well. Yeah, it's lovely. I wasn't a fan of them uh, Kinder biscuits though, you know. Wasn't a fan of them, Charlotte. They was not the best ones. <laughs> the Kinder's worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not too far away now. Another 20 minutes or so, and we're going to be down at the hotel. Lovely houses over there. Imagine just looking out over this. We're 975 feet away from our accommodation. Now, there wasn't many options, to be honest. I looked for, you know, loads of hotels. You wanted to be close to Wallaby Roan Alp, and I'll mention how close we are to the parks in just a moment, but literally, we're in this little French village. I, you know, is it even a village? I don't know, it's tiny, isn't it? There's just a few houses. It's this, yeah, here. It's a hotel. This building here on the left. Destination is on the left. There we go, this is where we're staying. Little family owned business. Oh, here we go. This looks this all right. This looks cute. It does Something look cute. Like. Yeah, a little family owned business. Let's, um, yeah, let's pull in. Oh, here we go. Here's the main entrance driving in. Look at this. It's <laughs> deserted. There we go. It's got a lot of character to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, here we go. There's like the restaurants oh, over here. Parkings round the back. Oh, it's actually quite cute. Huh. It's like a little themed thing, but yeah, there wasn't like loads of options. Sometimes it's nice. Staying somewhere a bit more quirky. Look at this. So yeah, we're gonna be staying here for four nights. It's like a a base. Oh blimey. The car's like, what's going on? <laughs> right, let's uh let's forget parts up. And we're all checked into our accommodation for the next four nights. And you know what? It's quite basic, but it's authentic. Like we're in this old like stable that's been converted by the looks of it. There we go, you got all like the beams up there. This has got quite a bit of character down here too. There we go, made from some local wood. We're literally staying in the middle of nowhere. In fact, for the whole drive, which was like nearly 70 miles from the airport, we didn't see a major hotel, did we? No, we literally didn't see anything, but the check-in here was so quick. Just gave us the keys, brought us to the room, and it was all done, brilliant. <laughs> As you'd expect from a location where we are, like minimal English was spoken. Uh, that's perfectly fine, we are here in France. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name of where we are, so I'm gonna show you it just there in case you did wanna book it. There we go. I'm not even going to pronounce that because I don't have a clue. Um, but yeah, that was the picture that I booked from. That did show a rocking chair by the looks of it. We haven't got one of them. We've got two chairs. But still, it's all right. And actually, you think we're in the middle of nowhere. I was thinking the internet's going to be terrible. It's really fast, isn't it? Which is what we need. Fantastic. But yeah, I'll just give you a bit of a tour around. Car parks, literally, out there. So we can see the car just over to the side. Can't believe it. Yeah, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Thought the internet would be terrible. Double bed just there. Oh, what's coming out? Spare pillars. Oh, it's an extra pillar. <laughs> yeah, got the TV up there. You got a little mirror, hair dryer on the side. Got our supplies. Got some very musical pictures. Some there we go. The shower area is actually quite modern. It is, yeah. In there. There we go. Fantastic. It was all about location with this one as well because obviously, yeah, there's not much around this area. Look at this little wooden door. It's authentic. That's the word to describe it. And that's the, the toilet. Just inside there, even that's made of wood. I like how they've, you know, kept it on theme. Well, there we go. That's the room tour. Not really much to show you, to be honest. But no, cars parked out there. It's ideal. Good base, really. It's all about the location for us. Definitely used to be an old farm, this. You can tell from the style of the buildings. I can imagine years ago there was maybe cows, a few sheep in here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some horses as well. Um, but no, it's nice. Like, it's very authentic. Uh, basic, but it's the location uh, that we wanted. And like I say, there wasn't really many options around here. Uh, so obviously we're going to be visiting three parks whilst we're in this area. We're going to Park Spirou tomorrow. and uh, That's about a two hour 40 drive from here. Uh, obviously it's still quite a way, but we thought we'd add that in because we're 
kind of close, uh, even though it is still a bit of a drive today, you know. I think it's one of them with something like this, what we're doing, we wanted to have a base so that we could drive out to each of the destinations instead of keep moving hotels, because sometimes it can be more harder to move yeah. hotels all the time. And also the event that we've got, which was the main reason for coming on this trip at uh, Wallaby Roan Alp, uh, that starts at 8 a.m. And the park is literally 12 minute drive from here. It's just round the corner. We didn't come past it when we were driving here, um, but it's literally round the corner. So that's ideal for us. And then when we get go to La Pal, that's about a two and a half hour drive um, further into France. Um, and then of course we're gonna come back. So we're just kind of like day tripping to the three parks from this main base. And it's just worked out like ideal right by Wallaby, but then also being able to nip out to the other two parks as well, uh, which is great. Uh, well, there we go. That just brings us to the end of our travel day. All in all though, it's been a great success. Like this time last night, we were still in Ireland <laughs> and we've been back to Manchester. And now we're here somewhere in the, literally in the middle of nowhere. I've got to say, of all the places I've traveled, this has got to be probably the most remote place I've ever stayed, you know, Charlotte. Like, literally, it does feel like we're in the middle of nowhere, like in a forest or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are. There's not much around here at all. I'm glad we got some surprise. So am I. Uh, they do actually have a restaurant on site here, though, as well. So if we did want any hot food, but to be honest, we're going to be eating at the parks. It's only a base. Um, we're going to be not getting back until later on in the evening and stuff with the drives anyway. But uh, there we go. As always, thanks for joining us. Love doing the travel vlogs, taking you along for the experience. Flight was uh, good on EasyJet as well. Yeah, the service was really good on there. The chips wasn't the best, I no. do have to say. They needed a bit of salt and vinegar on those. Yeah, that would have been nice. They did offer sauces though, they if did. you wanted them. Um, but no, overall, it's been a, a good day. Nice and easy picking up the car hire. Great car, love an automatic. And uh, some fantastic scenery there as well. Charlotte got loads of footage for you to enjoy uh, of all the mountains. And we're gonna see some lovely scenery um, over the next few days, driving to these other parks. And also, um, of course, on our sightseeing day when we go to the Matterhorn in Switzerland, that'll be coming up as well. Uh, but yeah, we look forward to taking you along. Always love going to parts for the first time. Three back-to-back -back parks coming up for the first time for you all to enjoy. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Uh, well, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there and keep on riding. riding. Goodbye. <laughs>